and welcome back to Shadow Boxer, where I can show you Quran, and we're going to learn something new and possibly lose brain cells in the process. I chose this picture because today we're going to talk about the science of the Quran. It's amazing. We've got flying carpets, hail, all that fun stuff. Let's get into it right now. And it says, and unto Solomon we gave the wind. Ah, what wind is this? Let's Let's go and check the Islamic scholars and see what they say. So this wind was to carry Solomon's or Suleiman's flying carpet. Now I know you guys are excited. You thought we were gonna talk about how the sun sets in a spring of muddy water, but not today. We're gonna to talk about where hail comes from. Obviously, just don't even look at this diagram whatsoever. It makes no sense. Hail is obviously sent down from the mountains in heaven from Allah. So let's read, and it says, and he sends hail down from the sky. <laughs> but just to make sure, we're going to go into, again, we're going to go into the tafsir and see what the explanation is. And again, this is Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad. And he says that Allah sends down hail from skies, from the mountains in heaven. I don't know about you guys, but I am completely impressed. I think we should ask Allah where babies come from. Where does the sperm come from? Oh, well, let's be a little bit more mature here and find out. Sperm actually comes from this area of the body, from the men. So uh, let's see what Allah says here. He is created from gushing fluid between, uh, issued from between the loins and the ribs. Hmm, the loins and the ribs. What part is that exactly? Let's check the, the tufts here again. And we're going to find out that this is from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman. And it takes both of them to have this fluid to create a baby. Okay, so that means that women have sperm, men have sperm, and it takes both of them to create a baby. I mean, I'm absolutely impressed with this science. I had no idea that I had sperm, but let's get into hot teeth of the day. Yay! Okay, here we're gonna find out that when the drop of sperm or semen, which doesn't even make sense, but let's just keep going, remains in the womb for 40 or 50 days or 40 nights. Okay, newsflash, Muhammad, sperm dies after about five days, and semen has absolutely no role whatsoever in hitting the egg of the woman and creating a baby. I think Muhammad should have just kind of kept his mouth shut about things he didn't actually know about. I, I don't know. All right, guys, I think that's it for today. Um, again, all the links will be in the description. I left my Patreon, and I also left a link to my Discord if you want to join me in chat. Um, I guess that's it. God bless everyone.